A blessed day and welcome. The verse for meditation this morning comes to us from the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and 14. For by one sacrifice he has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. Every year the high priest repeatedly sacrificed the blood of animals not only for the sins of the congregation but also for himself. The prescribed repetition of sacrifices for sin in the Old Testament law was a built-in testimony to their inadequacy. The sacrifice offered did not perfect the people nor deal with sin decisively. But God's word declares this morning that through the single sacrifice Jesus made, those who place their faith in him are made perfect forever and being made holy. We are those who are perfected forever. However, perfected forever does not mean we are morally perfected. Rather, his one sacrifice is perfectly adequate to assure our standing before God. In addition, we see that on a daily basis, we are being made holy, meaning sanctified and set apart. Precious ones, the best illustration to explain this process is the birth of a little child. When a child is born and begins to crawl or take his first steps, he does indeed fall or trip. But based on his inexperience and failures, the parents do not discount and say he will never walk, but give him the encouragement because they know in the future he is going to be able to stand and do what he needs to do. In the same way, God sees our end before he began to work on us. He sees that we are being perfected at this point of time. But in his eyes, in the future, we have already been complete. The fact that Jesus has finished something that's still being worked out in our lives is hard to understand. When we are struggling spiritually, it's encouraging to remember that Jesus' sacrifice for you and for me is complete. Even if our living it out in this life is still a work in progress. Nothing can stop his intended end from being achieved eventually. Therefore, take courage. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his ways. Though he fall, he shall not be cast out, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you. Thank you for your son who gave himself on that cross. He completed the sacrifice and made us perfect forever. Lord, during the process of being made holy, may we cooperate with you and live lives that bring you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.